What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back for another video. Today, we're gonna put together a simple video just basically highlighting and explaining the fuel systems that I chose to go with. One that you might highly consider, and that is of course the one from Lethal Performance. Their beautiful return style fuel system with dual regulators for the 18 and up Mustang GT. There's not a lot of videos that are online right now just basically showcasing the ins and outs, the important information that you would like to see with this kit installed. So that's what we're going to try to accomplish today is just walk you around the kit explain to you what everything is how it hooks up where it hooks up why you should buy it and then go from there so let's spin the camera let's get to it let's dive into the video let's go You see these relays, everything is pretty much good to go, already assembled for you. And the cool thing too is there's already fittings on all of your lines. True garage install, everything is garage install, but here's the triple pumps, 295s. Look at these new fuel rails. These are super fancy, Division X. There's a the filter, uh, regulators, two of them, so you're gonna regulate both sides. Now the lethal pump setup's nice. You like it? Yep. I like the, I like the, how the wiring comes up. It's pretty plug and play. Yeah, pre-made lines are nice. This is very uh, do-it-yourself friendly. Okay. If that's the route you want to go. Yeah, sweet. All right, guys, right in front of me, my twin turbo monsters. Look at these wheels. They look so good. These four stars, the bead locks in the rear, they look hot. Back to the video. So right away, you guys can see that we have dual regulators. It's an aeromotive regulator, part number is 13134. And they come with these beautiful Division X gauges right there per side. Very, very simple setup. That's one of the things I really want to emphasize throughout this video is the plug and play ability and the simplicity of the kit, how well it works. Supposedly this return fuel system will support upwards of like 1500, possibly more horsepower to the wheels. And that is going to be the end goal for this car's eventually built motor and just turn it up and go crazy with it with the twin turbos. These are E85 compatible lines. So you have your, from the fuel tank coming down here. So you got a return and a feed line. The feed line comes through through this area here and the fender well comes down this area back through there. It comes around the back of the engine. So the main feed line coming over here to the passenger side regulator to the right side, they come pre-assembled. Pretty much everything is already cut to length. It's pretty easy. Again, installation is a breeze because they are already assembled. Same with the wiring harness we'll get to in a second. But so feed line goes into the right side of the regulator, out to the left, it feeds the DI pump on top of the head, out the bottom, which is, I guess, your return port. But anyway, so this port comes, feeds the beautiful Division X fuel rails right there. Pretty cool that you get to delete your factory fuel rails and go with something that looks fancy like this. Feeds through the back, this side, and then this line comes to this driver's side regulator in through this side, and you cap off the back. Now, the bottom, right down here, uh, let's see if we can get down there right there. That is your return and it goes back to the fuel tank. Now, what exactly is a return style setup? These cars come factory with like a, a dead hat system. So what that means from the factory is that fuel comes up through the fuel tank and is governed by the PCM, depending on your, your load, RPM, all of that. It's gonna feed more fuel as needed. But with a return fuel system, it's always, always circulating, kind of like the blood coming from your heart. So if you think about your heart being a gas tank, it's just pumping and pumping and pumping and doing this big circle. It's just feeding, feeding, and feeding, feeding. This kit also comes with the option to run a hob switch or not. I did not install the hob switch right now. I still have it. I may install it later on. Some people use them. Some people opt to not do it. But the cool thing is the kit does include it. So it gives you options. All right. So getting back on track. So this is pretty much the way that it's going to be assembled. It comes with this T bracket here. This is where we chose to mount mine. Let's see if we can get that out of the way so you guys can see how that looks. You can mount this honestly in different areas, wherever you think looks the best over here. We have it just mounted like that and it works perfectly. So now we have explained from the fuel tank in the back. So you have the feed come all the way up through the back here, fed into there to the return going back into the fuel tank. Very, very simple to understand, very easy to operate. Before we move on, I do want to simplify things just a little bit further. Being a twin turbo car, I have my vacuum block right there. The main source is coming off this old PVC line because for the time being, we have these in place of catch cans. Hell Horse Performance is supposed to be sending me a catch can. It'll be here soon. This line goes down to my blow valve lives there. 
So we have bottom wastegate, top wastegates that are fed into the Mac uh, solenoid for the um, boost controller. This is the boost controller reference line right there. And this one where it goes into the regulator here. So I know when you guys watch this video, you're gonna see like all kinds of craziness going on. I just wanted to basically show you that. So you explain basically what you're looking at here. You gotta have power. Now, this is what we've done. So right here, this is a hot post. It's gonna be always hot. You would think that if you plug all of your power wires there, it's gonna always be hot. Well, the answer is no, because this system uses relays. Simple video, guys. Simple video on an iPhone, but hopefully this will help somebody. So you hear how loud that is. It does that from the factory, but with a lot more fuel going through the system, it's, it's pretty loud. wiring it comes with instructions it's very hard to mess up the kit basically is like i said very plug and play easy to deal with easy to install i have chosen to hide everything underneath this kick panel here with a seat elite which i have or with your factory seats it's going to hide all of the wires just make sure that it is a proper ground just make sure that nothing is like rattling around so we have it all zip tied up it's not going anywhere especially with the seat or seat delete down in this location so that power wire is coming through there and it goes back to the fuse box so it's basically run through coming up through this fender and then through this location here so also with these fuel lines when you take this wheel off and you take this fender liner out behind there you're going to have a, another bracket that's going to hold all of your fuel lines and everything important is going to be behind that bracket take that bracket loose tuck all that stuff underneath there put the bracket back on what that is is kind of like a crash it's like a little safety crash bracket. So if you get uh, impacted on the side, so you don't crush fuel and have fuel leaking and, and all of that, that's bad. Fuel systems are expensive. There's different options. There's different companies to go with. I like this one because it comes pre-assembled. For the average DIY guy that likes to do their stuff in the garage, uh, even for a shop, for the sake of maybe saving time, because labor costs these days a lot of money. This is the kit that you want to run because you don't have to cut anything. It comes pre-assembled, which everything is already measured to length. We're talking over $2,000 plus for a fuel system on average if you're going with something that is quality. But here's the cool thing. If you use Xander 13, code Xander 13 at lethalperformance.com, you can save a bunch of money on a system like this. So... These things are very expensive and I wanna be able to pass those savings on to you. Something else that they come with, like I was talking about the hob switch. I have yet to install everything. There's the wires there, but I may run that at some point. It does come with more high pressure springs for the regs. Tons and tons of these guys here. So really got you covered when it comes to stuff like that. I mean, I would make this decision again in a heartbeat over and over and over. Simplicity of use, the ease of install. I mean, this might sound like a paid promotional video. It's not. One other thing as well, before we let you go in the video, setting fuel pressure. So the way you want to do this is talk to your tuner. So your high side going into the DI pump, you want to set this first with no vacuum. So we pulled this vacuum source out there and you'll set this to whatever desired uh, PSI they want you to run. That's going to be setting your base pressure. That's pretty easy because you just take these lock nuts loose, turn this in or out. It's going to adjust the uh, fuel pressure there. Once you get that locked in, you come over here and you set your PI side, your low side, your return side with no vacuum. So you're setting base pressure. And then once you're done, you simply plug in your vacuum just like this. 
much. And that's it. Pretty simple video, I know. Hopefully, anybody that watches this, why you might consider it. I love it. I like the simplicity of it. I'm a DIY guy, so I like the plug and playness, if that's a word. So that's gonna be the video, guys. So if you like this kit, if you like the way it looks, the ease of installation, all of that, make sure you please go check out lethalperformance.com. Use promo code Xando13 at checkout and save you guys a bunch of money. If you're new, subscribe, turn the notification bells on, hit the like if you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank mm -hmm. you.